Welcome back. This is still tea time. Like I said, there reads more to come. And my studio guest right now is Watoni, a multi-talented single mother who juggles a fashion business and parenting blog. She speaks and writes Swahili fluently. Her real names are Florence Watoni Anyasi. She is 29 years of age, a creative artist who enjoys making fashion. And um, you're welcome to the show. Watoni. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm good already. Alrighty. I like your smile. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So a lot of people feel you drop the standard after settling into the house. Like, come on, look at you. You're blazing hot right now. When you came into the house, you were blazing hot. But you dropped the standard. Like, you felt at home and you were not dressing so fly. And, you know, what happened? First of all, all, all the girls in there were hot. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I dropped the standard. I love to dress simple mm -hmm. and just be comfortable in what I wear. Okay. So, no, I didn't drop the standard. So, to you, you didn't drop the standard. No, that I was didn't. just you being you. Yeah. All right. Well, so, what's going on with you and Brighto? Was that hey. an act of desperation? You know, after trying, trying, trying? Was that an act of desperation? Or that was genuine? Um, the truth is, first of all, in the house, mm. almost everybody was getting booed up. And mm. that's fine. I feel like love is good. It's a good thing to love someone or want to be close to a particular person. So, there was Neil, there was V. And at Wathoni, it was hard to always be in new and V's space. Mm. So most people were getting coupled up, let me put it that way. So it was a situation where it's either you get close to, most times I was either talking to Dolani Badge or Tricky T. And then for Tricky T, it was like, we were done saying everything that we needed mm. to say. And then there's nothing more to say. So it was a situation whereby... I call Tricky T a boring guy. No. <laughs> it, well, even with Talani, we basically spoke about everything. And then we are people that get bored easily. Mm. So I decided to get close to someone. Or let's put it, I realized Brighto is the type of person that is very playful and I like to play a lot. So I started playing with him a lot. Yeah, we saw a lot of tickling. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got close. Honestly, my intention wasn't to be booed up. Mm. or to get attached or something because yeah i gave him all the energy and i know the energy wasn't kind of reciprocated and i really didn't bother about that i just wanted to be happy and have someone to talk to in the house and have fun that okay, was it so for me. it was all about the house because right now you're both outside the house what's the future for the both of you right now we are outside the house i'll see how it goes if he if he gives me back the same energy then this potential are you guys you're tickly <laughs> <laughs> well, hmm. well, tell Let me us, spill the tea, comments. spill the tea. It's mm, not so ticklish anymore, is he? Kind of. Not so. All right, so what did you miss most about being outside when you were in the house? My son's voice saying, Mommy. Oh. And shopping with my best friend. So, yeah. All right. So, let's see how good you are with current affairs, right? Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. So in Nigeria, democracy is now celebrated on... Hey. Is it 1st October? It's no. now celebrated on... Man, I don't know. June 12th. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So which is the most populated country in the world? Uh, Nigeria? No. What is it then? Second try. Huh. Hmm... This one is hard though. Not so hard. India? No. You're close. If you remember coronavirus, you remember the country. Dubai? No. If you remember coronavirus... Okay, you China. Clap for yourself. <laughs> All <I> right. So <laughs> <laughs> the artist region in the world is called... These questions are hard though. Come on. The artist no. region in the world. In region. the world. Region. Fam. It has something to do with a, with a desert. Dubai? No. Artist region in the world. It has something to do with a desert. I don't know, man. Sahara Desert, actually. Uh -huh. All right. So who was known as the king of Afrobeats in Nigeria? Afrobeats, actually. I have like beats. three people in mind. Bona Boy? No, the king of Afrobeats in Nigeria. Jeez, these questions are hard, though. <laughs> Fela and Nicolapo Kuti. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for playing that game with us. As we speak, how do you feel about Erika? Um, I always say right now we're good, in a good place, and that's what matters to me. I guess we had serious misunderstandings, but we're in a good place now, and that's it for me. 
All right, so now that you're watching the show and you can see what everyone is doing, would you think it's playing the game perfectly and would you think it's being fake in the house? Um, I'm not really watching the show because most times I'm doing media rounds and sleeping. So I honestly don't know. Okay. I don't know. Let the best person win. So you're not following to see. Okay, so what would you want to win from being with them, from mingling with all, everybody in the house? Aside um, yourself, of course. Um, I like Ozo. I feel like his attitude in the house is relatable with people outside the house. So, yeah, Ozo, Lekon. All right. Thank you very much for your time and drinking tea with me. Thank you, too. It was amazing. And that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa.